Mr. Benglass left the city of Corning in 2008 after Corning Incorporated sold it to another company. But now the products returned to the southern tier. WENY's Cody Carlson was at the Corning Museum of Glass earlier today to talk about the comeback of Stu Glass. After years of absence, world-renowned Stuben Glass has returned to the Crystal City. These elegant handcrafted products will be made by former Stuben Glass gaffers and sold right here at the Corning Museum of Glass. Stuben Glass was founded in 1903 by Englishman Frederick Carter. Corning owned the product from 1918 until 2008 when they sold it. In 2011, Corning reacquired it and now it's under the stewardship of CMOG. It's actually very exciting because, in a way, Stuben is home again. Uh, so again, reacquired by Corning, but now stewarded by the Corning Museum of Glass, which is just a natural fit for such an iconic art glass brand. Stuben Glass is being made in local shops by former Stuben Glass workers. Their products range from ornaments to bowls and vases to paperweights. Stuben Glass has a special connection to the expansion of the museum. The amphitheater space is where Stuben Glass had been produced for many years. I think that Stuben just represents so much for the area in terms of quality glass. It's, it's really a, a, embodies everything that the Corning area is about. Uh, and such a great long tradition here in the Crystal City that to have it back and to be part of the Corning Museum of Glass, uh, everybody just feels really great about that. Now, Stuben Glass will be available for purchase at the museum or on their website. For a link, visit our website, weny.com. Reporting in Corning, Cody Carlson, WENY News.